Hi folks, I'm Sam Haymar for Test Driven TV. This week we're going to be test driving the Lexus IS350 Convertible F-Sport. The F-Sport of course means sporty. And this is a great car to be out here in the Arizona sun this summer. It's hot, it's about 102 degrees, so we're going to see what this car can do with the top up and the top down. The rear-wheel drive Lexus IS competes against cars like the Infiniti G Series and BMW 3 Series, among others. That's pretty heady company. The Lexus brings its own brand of style, luxury, and feel to the table, however, and with the S-Sport model brings extra touches like 18-inch graphite wheels, a stiffer sport suspension, and a more aggressive front fascia. On the road, the IS convertible provides a solid and quiet ride with the top down. The body structure exhibits very little shake and shudder often associated with a convertible. Thus, it has the premium feel and poise you'd expect at this price. The suspension is tight and stiff, offering excellent cornering feel and fun to drive characteristics around town as well as on curvy roads. Given its 2,872 pound curb weight, it still feels remarkably light on its feet. The steering wheel mounted paddle shifters add some fun over using the standard console shifter, but they tend to be a little bit slow in response time. The interior, of course, is a great place to be. Lexus is known for their top-notch cabins. The materials, the fit and finish, and the overall design quality is just as good as you can ask for. The back seat is a little bit tight, but you're not really going to be spending much time back there. We did get a laugh out of the ashtray and cigarette lighter in the center console, something you just don't see very much these days. The reality check on this Lexus is really just the center stack and touchscreen system. It's got one flaw, and that is it makes me go back and forth between the hard controls and the touchscreen to do simple things like adjust the fan speed. For instance, I've got the air conditioning on right now. If I turn it off, that's great. But if I want to turn it back on, there is no on button on the, on the hard controls. I have to go up here to climb it, and I have to use the fan controls and dial it back up again. Now, if I want to go back and change my radio station, then I need to go back to another menu to do that. It should be more intuitive than this. If I turn it off again, then if I hit auto, that'll turn it back on. But the problem then is, is it dials the fan speed all the way up to high. Again, I have to go back to climb it and adjust it back down. And again, I have to go back to audio to do my radio station. It's just, it's just sort of this hunt and peck thing that, that really, uh, it seems like an afterthought. It could have been done a lot better. The 3.5 liter V6 pumps out 306 horsepower. With both port and direct fuel injection, this engine also gets remarkable fuel economy. In our week with the IS, we averaged 23.6 miles per gallon combined. Like many convertibles in this price range, the IS comes with a power-operated hardtop which goes up and down with the press of a button, no latches required. It's fun to watch with a symphony of moving parts that will impress your friends and passers-by alike. Hardtops like this do offer a little bit more security and a quieter ride on the highway. They do have some downsides though, they tend to be heavier and more complex. In the case of the IS, there's a lot of strange seams back there that create a styling element that, well, to us looks a little odd. Additionally, the trunk space on the IS convertible is at a minimum with the top down. You can barely even fit a pair of golf clubs back there. All said, we really enjoyed the IS convertible, but because of its center stack and infotainment controls and minimum trunk space with the hardtop, we rated it 4 out of 5 stars for our test. Well, there you have it, folks. That's this week's episode of Test Driven TV. I'm Sam Haymart, and I hope you enjoyed the ride. For a more in-depth review and photo gallery, see our full write-up on cyclonic.com.